Hello there. Um, it's 626. I'm still here. Taylor has gone for the day. I'm getting ready to go. I'm only here because today after school, I had makeup leadership interviews and that is a two hour block because they are task based. Um, and so I'll get into that in just a second. But I woke up this morning, got here at about seven. And what was I doing? Oh, I had to make sure I updated uh, the spreadsheets for the house system because there were some kids that were absent or came um, late or hadn't been sorted into a house for different reasons. So I had to make sure all those kids were added to the spreadsheet and that they got their wristbands and all of that. Um, I had to send some emails to our rep at Five Star Student because I had some questions. Um, I had to email the district because we have approval to use Five Star Student, but there was a step that we needed to get taken care of so that our student information and staff information could be imported into Five Star Student and I really wanted that to be done and ready to go by tomorrow because tomorrow is our first spirit day and we want teachers to feel like they can now go in and start scanning and giving kids points because for me like the beginning of this process and the beginning of all this has to go relatively smoothly for it to really take off or take hold of teachers and so like just trying to make sure I'm troubleshooting everything as it happens so that teachers feel prepared and ready to go that was my focus of my prep period today and then I had my elective course um, and I need to make sure that I do a better job of talking about leadership so today in leadership yesterday we went over the syllabus and all of that today in leadership we um i had them go on canva some of them for the first time and practice making an instagram post to promote the spirit day that is tomorrow which is blue and gold day um and then explain to them our social their social media responsibilities that they have to follow um our instagram account and that they have to like every post I guess and try to explain to them like the concept of engagement on Instagram like to get other people to engage with our account we have to create engagement to an extent so just making sure that they like every post and then I had them practice making an Instagram post for today's or tomorrow's spirit day and told them that um, that is how we create the Instagram post to promote spirit day so we have to get savvy with it because each of them at some point will be assigned a spirit day to create a post for and caption for so they started that they didn't get to finish it so I'll probably give them oh I can't even give them time tomorrow because we have um, a rules assembly but I'll give them more time probably on Monday um, and my homeroom and switch class um, we did okay this just goes to show you the big difference that you get when you're teaching kids through a computer versus in person because i did this lesson last year um obviously virtually and i just remember being like oh my god <laughs> like i hate teaching through a computer the kids are just not even the lighting is something else let me take it take you to my desk in a minute the kids just are like not into this um and rightfully so because they were on a computer so today um before i got into like nitty gritty stuff with language arts and history i wanted to make sure to talk to them about writing proper emails because i said you know you're at an age where you have to advocate for yourself and you know that means sometimes you're going to send an email to a teacher and i said especially when you get to high school next year you're going to need to be able to do that and do that well so we did this activity last year called email netiquette and there's a presentation that comes with this i'm pretty sure i got this off of teachers pay teachers the presentation is geared more towards high school students because it talks about things like emailing someone about an internship or um, in a professional setting and so i made sure to tell them that and then in this assignment they get four sample emails email a b c and d and then they get another sheet where they're kind of jotting down things that this person did well in their email and things that they didn't do well or shouldn't have done based on what they learned from the presentation and when i tell you these kids had the time of their life ripping these emails apart and being like this person doesn't have a proper subject they don't have a proper greeting they're coming across rude um they're going into too much detail like they both classes <laughs> just seem to really enjoy being able to critique and identify things like that so we went over that and then they were supposed to rank 
the emails from best to worst. So that surprisingly was more entertaining than what I thought it was going to be. And then we did history, like very lightly touched into it. And so um, I mentioned this last night. So today we got into the beginnings of the conversation about race, like what is race? Um, and so I showed this vocabulary video that's actually still on the screen because my screen was frozen let me see if i can do a better job of showing it um but this one was called what is race and so what i did let me find it what i did is vocabulary has the lyrics typed up for you so i printed out the lyrics yesterday and i'm just going to make sure i hide this student's name and shrunk it down so that they, so that they only had a couple pages and i said i'm going to play this video for you and i want you to think about what is the message of this video this video it's gonna or this not video this rap is going to talk about race and i want you to kind of look at the lyrics highlight things that you find in interesting annotate anything that you think is interesting and then at the end kind of think about what message or messages is this rap song trying to convey and I said, because the start of history um, is me kind of talking about my experience as a teacher and just watching students and people be uncomfortable acknowledging the fact that like I'm black, like having a hard time saying someone is black or having a hard time saying that they are aware of someone's race. And I said, and we really need to move past that. Like I, it's not as if being black is a negative thing, it's a bad thing, and just really making sure they know that I am proud of who I am and I wouldn't change anything about that, and that they all should feel the same about who they are, whether they're white, whether they're Chinese, whether they're um, Mexican, whether they're Colombian, like everybody should be proud of who they are and not really shy away from that, and explain that we're starting history this way because there's going to be multiple groups as we look through US history that have been um, marginalized or mistreated or were in positions of power or were losing things based on their racial identity and we need to know where did that come from like how did we even get there and so I told them to think about the message of this song but then also I want them to think about because we're going to be talking about it how do you know what race you are and I did this last year. And I said, how do you know what race you are? What race do you identify as? And why do you identify as that race? How do you know that? And so someone in one of my classes was like, that's a weird question. And I said, it's supposed to feel like a weird question because it's not anything any of us really sit down and think about. We just take for granted that we know what race we are, but we never really think about why we know that and where that came from and when did I know that and how did I know that so as far as we got in both classes was watching that video kind of briefly talking about the lyrics so we need to do more of that tomorrow and then tomorrow is when I hope because we're behind where I thought we would be we'll get into the whole give one get one um uh learning what is it I'm trying to say give one get one strategy to talk about our response to that question of how do we know what race we are why do we identify the way that we do and all of that so that happened and then after school I had makeup leadership interviews I was supposed to have a total of eight students here I only had six I think they did the same thing as the other kids in the regular interview I'm um, just in a much smaller setting on a smaller scale so um, I'm gonna go home now at 6 30 I'm going to cook I'm determined to cook I told Taylor though I realized that I didn't take the meat out to cook which means I'm going to have to defrost meat in the microwave which I don't like doing but I need to cook um, and I'm going to enjoy a meal and not really try not to do any real work I might send a couple emails about some questions I have for uh, five star um, but that's really it so I do believe that this is the first time I vlog today <laughs> and it's gonna be the last time <laughs> so although I just started I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here um, and I will say that if you're not following me on Instagram you have to follow me so that you can see this whole outfit this is my favorite outfit that I've worn so far this school year and it's definitely one of my favorites altogether because it is extremely comfortable it is a dress 
a long dress from Ann Taylor Loft. This little jacket is from there, and I was wearing it with my white bands all day, all day, and they have been super comfortable. So check out my stories from this morning. I saved them in my highlights. Let me make sure I saved it. So if you don't see it, don't you worry because it's saved. But that's it. So if you enjoyed today's vlog, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. If you're not following me on Instagram, you can head over there and find me at Smarty Style. And as always, I hope that you guys are well. And if you are not well, please be well. And I will see you tomorrow for Friday. See you then. Bye.